Hello and welcome back to ah! to another episode of Calibrated Gamer. No, I meant to do that. It was just a glitch. But anyway, welcome back. Yes, we are playing some more Dead Space. I've got to get this game unwrapped. I got to finish it. It's taking me forever to do it, so I'm gonna continue on and I'm gonna defeat it. Whew. Hopefully, I'm prepared. I don't think I have enough bullets. I don't think I have enough preparedness, but we're gonna go into it. Guns a blazing, feet a scrambling, and not a care in the world. Okay, maybe a few cares in the world. The life support system in Sleep Block B has been shut down. You'll have to find an override nearby to get through the door. Peachy. What is that? And can I say first? All right, good. <laughs> that's a, that's always a good thing. Let's see. We are still on chapter ten, and we are moving right along. And I know in a previous episode I said, "Oh, the last few chapters are most likely short because that's what they do in most games." Well, for one, that's not really what they do in most games. I mean, they kind of do, but not really. You are terrifying, and I imagine still very much alive. So I'm gonna shoot you once. Okay. That, okay, first off, that face is terrifying. Like, wow. Second off, your hands, like, I don't know. I don't think you're ready to become a necromorph. I mean, that's just a punch on my part, but still, I'm just assuming, so I apologize if I'm incorrect. One, one more arm, one more arm and I'll feel better. You know what, whatever, I'll leave it. What's a one-armed necromorph gonna do? Famous last words. <laughs> totally. Baxter just asked me a question. And I answered it out loud, because I can't answer text right now, I'm busy. You're making me miss things, making me look bad. Worse than before. More plasma energy, awesome. All right, maybe I do have some ammo on stuff and things. Everything's reloaded. 76 of this. Peachy Keen, I'm gonna save one more time. Might as well, don't wanna have to recollect all that ammo when I inevitably die. And I'm gonna continue on. I just want to take a moment. I know I thank y'all every now and then, but I just wanted to thank y'all again for watching, sticking with me, for liking, commenting, subscribing. Shoot! Oh, that scared the hell out of me! Also, Leviathan Arm! Leviathan Arm! Why even? Why even, Leviathan Arm? I thought you were dead! Come on. I thought I killed you. The aim sucks. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no! <laughs> no, Leviathan Arm! No! Oh, that's awful! Awesome! But awful! Told you I'd die. <laughs> Leviathan Arm! What? What even? I mean, I am... No, 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 I, I'm, I'm heading out that way. I'm not out that way, that door's locked. Why would you even lead me to a locked door? Let's, uh... Let's try a different tactic. Ah, la di da minding my own business. Whoa, what's going on? That's not the gun I meant to grab. Not the plasma cutter, but you know what? I'll use it if I can get a hit in. There we go. All right, that's doing a heck of a lot better. No, oh, no, it's not. Okay, uh, gotta actually hit it. One. Uh, oh no. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! I'll be right back, guys. Oh my gosh. All right. 
Wasted a good number of ammo on it. But hey, at least I got it. Also, what the heck? Is there another Leviathan? Okay, seems to be good so far. Override door lock. Down, please. Uh, was this a thing I was supposed to do? Okay, apparently it was. Awesome. I know, I know. But I have the bus all blade, so I'm not gonna use it. Come on, man. Thank you. Try to kill yourself a thousand times over while I can do this. Get some more of these bullets back. I knew there was going to be something waiting for me. Might not be the smartest person in the world, but I'm not dumb. Let's see here. I mean, that could be debatable. Is there... Uh, there might not... I know there's some more items over here. At least I think there are. Yeah, I didn't grab that. Oh my goodness. Ooh, large med pack. That would have sucked if I missed that. Now, what the heck? So does that mean the Leviathan's still alive? Does that mean the arms I was destroying before were not the Leviathan? What does it all mean? What does anything mean? What does this save station mean? Besides warm feelings and fuzzies. And also... Just a, a second chance to life and death, etc. All right. Oh, I didn't start back the timer. That would be a good thing to do. All righty. Now I know that other door that was locked is now unlocked. Peachy Keen. The bathroom had that. That was the way to the elevator. I've saved, and we're moving forward. All right. There was no reason to. Life support and climate system malfunction. Hazardous condition. Please contact repair specialist. <laughs> of course. All right. Hey, douche nozzle. Well, hi. Hi, guys. Whoa, there's a lot of people in here. All right. Did you just? blow the heck up? Why did you blow up? Alright. Now die before you accidentally like release yourself into the room. Life support and climate system malfunction. I'm aware. Hazardous condition. Please contact repair specialist. Any oxygen refill? Thank you. Uh -huh. Hey, that's not very nice at all. You, I thought you were dead. Clever, but not nice. Don't appreciate. Thank you. Now do me a favor and stay down this time. What a jerk. Also, uh, refill health. Hmm, okay. What do we got in here? I, I kind of, I really like the atm atmosphereless areas. Because it gives a Please whole new, like, terrified feel. Because it's, you're not just, like, battling necromorphs and you don't have, like, the sound cues like you used to. It's like... Did I not refill? Thank you. <laughs> it, I mean, it's like terrifying because like you turn around and they're just right there there's no warning there's no explanation just necromorph death also I want to go in here I imagine this will have a necromorph around that corner 
Life support and climate system malfunction. I'm aware, computer. Thank you. Uh, there is, you know what? I tried to contact him, actually. Good Phil. Phil is a good guy, yeah, Philip. Uh, but, you know, he was too busy piloting an express. Not, not piloting express ship, being a delivery boy. So, you know, uh, he, he's got multiple jobs. He's too busy to just do one or two things. This was the room with the goo. This is where I need to be. Of course. Hi. What else is in here before I... Oh, hello. <laughs> Figured. Life support and climate system malfunction. Of course. Whoa. condition. Please contact repair specialist. Also, switch weapons. Oh, damn it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, and you're still alive? That's not very much fair. Also, is there air in here? Is there a single oxygen tank in this entire area? That'd be nice. Life support and climate system malfunction. Oh, no, 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 no. Please contact the <laughs> Get it, get it, get it. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I thought I didn't get it. <laughs> wow. That was close. All right. Come on, you little dirt bag. Come on. Come on. There you go. Yeah, show me those little tentacrills. Come on. Yeah, that's right. Come on. Uh, get, get, get a little closer. There you go. That's good. The life of a space janitor, basically. Like, I don't even... Not a, I'm not an engineer anymore. I'm not a warrior of any kind. I'm a freaking space janitor. I clean up the Ishimura's messes. It just happened to be my bloodstains as well as Hammond's bloodstains all over the walls. Tons of necromorphs. Etc. Etc. I hear him. Oh wait, no. The the thing I heard was the item I just picked up. But y'all are still around, and there's a lot of you. Let me try this little number. Hey guys. Life support and I think some of you are stuck in that lighting. Please contact repair specialist. I'm gonna assume that is correct. And I'm gonna move on with my life. Let's see. Uh, I need to get out of here. Yeah, I figured. Okay. Good. Let's go back in here. We'll go through this way. Ah, of course. Oh. I thought this is where I can maybe repair this area. Life support and climate system malfunction. I got Hazardous it. Condition. Thank you. I'm Please very much aware. I'm dying. In case you don't know, computer. Oh, hi. That's not very nice. Life support and climate system malfunction. Okay. Hazardous condition. Please Thank contact you. Specialist. I'll do it in a minute. I'm busy. Mom, you never understand. Okay, I think now we're safe. Exiting vacuum. There we go. How come this area is a heck of a lot creepier? Maybe not. Maybe... No, the lights are definitely out. <laughs> Let's check that. Timer. Alright. Let's get out of here, guys. And ladies. 
Wait, was that all I needed in this area? Okay. I thought there was like different pieces I needed. I thought there was like three parts I needed or something. I was prepared but not prepared quick enough. We'll try three of those speed. Is that the only note I had? Pretty positive it's the only note I had. Let me double check. <laughs> All right. This was bathroom, correct? Blood-filled bathroom. I forgot about that. Yes, because that's a huge. A huge thing. Hu huge thing I need, yes. Blood. Good. It's good for you. It's good for you. Tastes good, too. Let's see here. Okay, besides the whole cult thing throwing me off, having to come back down here throws me off as well. But then again, I guess when I undid the emergency lockdown thing, that's when it opened some of these doors. Now I, let's see here, I'm going to buy, oh come on, some plasma, I'm going to buy, if I could stop accidentally pressing the right, some pulse, and then I'm going to buy a power node, then I'm going to go right back up to that bench, I'm going to upgrade the force gun again, and then I'm going to move right on along, I'll be right back guys. Oh crap, you kind of scared the heck out of me, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Shouldn't have wasted so many bullets on one necromorph, but man, that felt good. Let's see here. Heading this way, I believe. I've never liked bathrooms in horror games. The last. I mean, the last few horror games I've played, the bathrooms didn't really have anything special or specific or hidden, but still. I'm a nitly, it's just creepy. Maybe it's because my bathroom is really creepy. The bathroom at the house I'm at, uh, ooh. Ooh, level 5 suit! Crap! I don't even have a level 4 suit. That's not gonna look good on my resume when I try to join up with Dead Space College, they'll be like, oh, you didn't even buy the level four suit. And I'll be like, I'm sorry, I needed I needed more weapons and, and, and ammo and guns. I just didn't have the, oh, this must be the minigame Falcoon was talking about. Z-ball rules. 
Step on a lighted platform and activate to start the game. Jump to as many scoring platforms as possible to increase your score multiplier. Then use your kinesis module to grab the ball and shoot in the active basket before the timer runs out. Beating each level opens a locker with a reward inside. This is going to take forever. Which is good. Sort of. Because I planned on making this episode longer anyway. So we might as well end it with a little bit of Z-Ball. You know what I mean? Okay. I mean, I grew up playing Z-Ball. Me and my good buddies back home on Jupiter. Man, we used to play so much Z-Ball. It was crazy the amount of Z-Ball we played. Is there any other floating goodies around? Any other... What is that? What is that? I want that. Oh! Oh, no! We don't have time for Z-Ball. We have to survive. Also, death to you! <laughs> death to you! Oh. Why did I do that? I meant to stomp, not try to blow myself up to the rings. Ow, one. Okay, uh, that's not what I meant to add on to this episode. <laughs> I think what I'm going to do is kill these guys to free up the old Z-Ball courts. You know, really get the blood pumping Entering for some classic Z-Ball. Know what I mean? You know what I mean. And who hasn't played Z-Ball? <laughs> fools. Only fools haven't played Z-Ball. Come on. Oh no. Oh no. Now, for one, and for two, I'm, I'm switching guns. Come on, guys. Whoa. I did not like your attitude. Also, you're about to kill me. All right. <laughs> I'll be right back, guys. I, I don't know why I tried to fit that in. All righty, I defeated them, and now time to go Harlem Space Trotters on this game. Now, as you can see, I've already tried it out before. I'm still a little confused as to how it works. I know you jump from this to this. That's your shot clock on my pack on my back right now. And apparently I messed up because you're supposed to aim for what is the active goal. And they all look active. I, I guess that's the point. I guess they're all active. Oh, well now it's giving me a ton of points. It's okay, it said the more of these I jump to the higher multiplier I get. But maybe I aimed for the wrong goal earlier, cause you know, let me do this. Flip up. Or I mean uh backwards I should say. Throw that one. Yeah. Ugh. 16. All right. Well, that's that's good. At least at least I am getting more points this time. I don't know what I did different this time than last time though. Oh, look at that, all that blood smeared court. <laughs> Just like Z-Ball back home, am I right, fellas? All right, let's see. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Hi. I need you to go in there. Eh. Yeah. Z-Ball champion of the world basically my world at least back home on Jupiter or whatever the heck I said ooh one more one more multiplier that's good let's see here where is that where is it there it is the biggest thing it's like Super Mario Galaxy the first time you play this game it's it like the biggest issue is just trying to understand like when you jump from like different space to different space with like zero gravity understanding where you were and where you've been what what was that noise is the game over okay the game's over now 32 I, I got 32 did I did I do it did I unlock some lockers in here level two oh Okay, <laughs> never mind. Uh, let's jump to this guy. Let's jump to this guy over here. 
multiplier times three. Okay, and then aim for an active goal. They're all active. Oh, I see what you're doing. I see you, sly dog. Okay, flip around. Go over here. Just so you know, guys, I mean, I'm not going to do anything else in this episode besides play some good old-fashioned Z-Ball. So, if this isn't interesting you, y'all can go on ahead. You know what, I'll actually include the rest of the Z-Ball at the end of this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you've been enjoying. Please like and comment down below if you have. It helps me tremendously. Be sure to share this video with your friends if you have. It helps me so, so much. You have no idea. And... As always, help me find the ball, kids! <laughs> Stay calibrated by subscribing to my channel so you can watch more videos when they're posted. And until next time, guys, I'll see you later! Bye! No, because I was chasing them as I ran them over. Okay, yeah, and then you ran them over, which doesn't help the chasing situation at all. It's a love tap. Alright, he'd like to kill me. So, you know, priorities, right? Oh, uh, shoot. <laughs> you saw me, didn't you? Hey, buddy! Oh, hi! <laughs> uh. Oh, no. Oh, no. I got shot blocked. Oh, with only seconds to spare. Oh, no! Did I count? Did I win? Am I still in the game? I guess that one shot didn't count and... Uh, huh. game that, over. Is that... Okay, so apparently I lost. Unlocked. Congratulations. Ooh, thank you. So that means I don't have to play it ever again, right? Alley -oop. He grab He grabs the ball. He goes in for the kill. He shoots! Ah oh, he scores! And the crowd goes wild! Ah. Oh, there's more. <laughs> Level four. Fight! Or I mean uh, uh Z-ball. I almost said basketball. Ah oh, crap, I said it. He dribbles down the court. He moves to the next court. Oh, dribbling does not mean the same thing as it does in Earth basketball. It means something different. Ah, and he shoots! He scores! <laughs> oh, did I score? I honestly don't. Yeah, I, I did. Okay, good. But like I was trying to say, dribbling means totally different things in Z-Ball. For example, dribbling just means to move really fast. Game over. Ah, ah, I had it! I had it! I had it! Man. He dribbles to this court. He dribbles to that court. He dribbles to the third court in a row. He grabs a Z ball. Whatever the heck it is. There it is. He grabs it. He aims. He notices that the patterns. He shoots. He scores. Let's see here. Uh. Oh crap. Where do I go now? Ah. Uh, oh no. Okay, there's one. I think there's one on my left for right now. Okay, this one. And there's this one. Search up. There's a Z ball. Shoot! Ah! Good. Oh, I didn't think that was gonna make it. Alright. Let's see here, guys. We got this. He dribbles to this court. He dribbles to that court. He dribbles to a third court. He spins around to find his shot. He takes a Z-ball. He aims. He shoots. He scores. And this is this. I'm starting to get the hang of what Z-ball is. It's very hard, very distracting, very time-consuming, but still really awesome. Good, I good idea for a mini game. I would play multiplayer Z-ball if that was totally a feature that Dead Space had. Come on. One of you open up. I'm not going for green. One of you open up. Thank you. Crime and Let's 
see here. Any of you? Aha! One! Two! One more, one more, one more. Anyone? Any takers? Just me then, alright. Aww. But I was just getting started. Did I get another reward locker? That'd be nice. <laughs> yes. Ooh, Ruby Semiconductor. Now, does it restart back to level one? I do believe it does. Level six. Level six. All right. You got this. All right. Turn around and go for that one. Okay. Where's that ball? Where's that ball? There it is. Got it. Spin around and shoot. Oh, that was, that's, that's sneaky. That's cheeky. Oh, and you made it in. Okay, good. Oh, no. That's a very nice. Oh, oh I had it. Did that count? I don't think so. Oh, man. All right. It says level six again. However, it did unlock a locker that got me a power node, so I don't know if that's a glitch or not. But if I can possibly unlock the other lockers, I'm totally going to. Because if I could somehow get a diamond conductor, which I severely doubt this game is going to give me, I could totally buy a level 5 suit. Which is desperately what I need. If not, I could afford a level 4 suit. Uh, I wouldn't be able to afford a level 5 suit, but I could save up and buy a level 5 suit. Which would probably be the best idea. Besides, you know, spending the money and getting a level 4 suit right now. Entering zero gravity. Uh, I'm going to play around with this for a bit more, but I think this is going to be it for the episode. Thank you so much for watching. We've already done the outro, so probably not going to do it again. But anyway, until next time, guys, I'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for sticking with me. <laughs> Bye.